Is Matt Breida a good guy to get if Ford is gone? Not really. I'm not a big fan of Matt Breida. Matt Breida is not a player that I'm targeting because I think that Matt Breida is not very good. (laughs) Matt Breida's claim to fame is that he is a pass-catching running back, right? Um, he's able to catch balls out of the backfield. He can fit into that Saquon pass catching role. Not very good. Uh, in fact, Matt Breida had a 26.1 PFF receiving grade so far through two weeks, which is, which is very bad. And then looking at Breida's rush grade, 65 is not great. Three for 14 on the ground, including a fumble already for Brita, not a player that I want to be targeting. Only one other running back has carried the ball for the New York Giants, and that's been Gary Brightwell. He had one carry for five yards. So this might be a situation where the Giants try out their rookie running back, Eric Gray, who profiles as a between-the-tackles uh, pass catching back out of Oklahoma. Uh, Gray, I believe fifth or sixth round pick, was not a player that got high marks out of the NFL draft, but he might be a player that we could be looking at and saying, hey, maybe the Giants want to see what they have in him. It's clear that Matt Breda, who's you know now nearly 29 years old, is not a not a, a factor, right? Last year for the Giants, 61 attempts, 250 yards. He had two touchdowns, a decent brush grade. But we know what Matt Breida is. His ceiling is probably 12 fantasy points. Do you want to take your shot on a Matt Breida? Or do you want to take your shot on, like, Kendra Miller might be available. Or a, a Devon A-Chain. We know Matt Breida isn't good, and we know he's not going to be able to carry the load for more than about 10 or 12 carries. So that's not a player that I'm going out of my way to target. If, you, if you're if you in a really deep league and you do need someone with a pulse, Matt Breida, fine. But I'm not going out of my way and spending a significant amount of fab to get Matt Breida at all. Um, and I'm willing to eat, eat an L on that. If that's the case, if I lose about Matt Breida, so be it. But I think that there are much better bets for swings of upside and having a three down roll than Matt Breida that might still be on your waiver wire. If you like the content, you find this helpful. Make sure you guys are hitting that red subscribe button really helps the channel.